Well, hello, Sam Owens here with a, a tip for troubleshooting your um, Atwood furnace in your RV or uh, travel trailer or whatever you have. Uh, this morning, it was like 25 degrees and I have the rig over at the house. And last night, uh, when I first turned it on, it wouldn't the fan would not shut off it would heat and uh do what it was supposed to but it wouldn't shut off and i just turned it off and used my uh, rear uh, furnace which worked fine this morning i decided to take the cover off and uh, see what would happen uh, what was happening uh, but first i turned the furnace on and nothing come on the light at, at my control panel inside showed that it was on, but I come out here and uh, I found that the red light over here was on solid. And right here is a little troubleshooting diagnostic information. And it says, uh, standby on no flashing internal control failure. Well, that means the board itself. There's others, uh, one flash is airflow, two flashes uh, is a flame sense fault, three flashes is ignition lockout fault. So it was just steady. So that's the control board. Uh, I'm gonna show you the conditions and show you how we can troubleshoot this. So let me uh, pull the camera in closer so you can see everything. Inside at my control panel, I have the furnace on and I have the temperature at 80 degrees. And right here is a service switch. It's in the off position right here. You'll have one on yours so that you can do this without having to be inside. So I'm gonna turn it on. Nothing happens, but if you'll notice, there's a red light the red light is right in there and it's steady. So that means the board is most likely at fault. Well, I don't want to go down and buy a brand new board when my rear uh, furnace is working perfectly and it has the same board and everything. It's the same furnace. So I'm going to take the old uh, or the rear control board out. And here it is. Now, I don't need to show you, show you that, but right here, you can see they're the same. It's got this, and I'm gonna show you how to get this out. And we're gonna put my rear furnace control board in and see what we have got. Okay, now you want to turn this off so that you don't have any power going to this, okay? And then the first thing you do is you take this and pull this connector off like that then up here is a little wing nut you take it and now get ready and don't let it drop uh, just kind of hold on to it and slowly run it around and there now I'm gonna put it right there and now I take this and put it out of the way and then you take this board and it'll pull over and it's got a little frame. And if you watch the wires, pull it out a ways. Now you can pull this one off. And then here are two wires back here. Before you take all of this, take a photo. I know it's only three, but you do not want to get this backwards. So the blue is on top and the red is on the bottom and this red one here. So. Take a pair of pliers, long, long nose, and kind of gently wiggle back and forth as you pull. And you might hold on to this relay right here, there. And that will hold a little better. There you go. Okay. Something on that board is probably bad, and we're going to check the other one. And if she works, then... I will go get another one for my rear furnace. Put that over to the side. And now this is my rear furnace unit and we're going to put him in there. But before we do, we take our two wires, the blue and the red, 
And you remember the blue goes on top and there's only two terminals there and you gently push them on and there and then here okay now now you don't want to create any more problems so just kind of gently uh, make sure it slides back nicely and no wires are are hooking on components in there so you don't want to mess anything up push it all the way back until she seats into its little crevice or its little storage place let me see there and it's got to go in that hole with the little stud out there okay there it is i'm going to go ahead and plug this in there it'll only go one way then i take this I know it works. Okay, let's get her on. Got to get a little thread started and get her tight. You don't want it bouncing out and moving around. Now we have this last one and you plug her on. Don't forget it. Okay, so that was just three wires. Okay, now I'm going to go in and be sure that the uh, that I did leave the furnace on and around 80 degrees. Okay, everything is ready. Now all I do is take my service switch and take it from off to on. It blinked one time. That's what it's supposed to do when everything is working. It blinks and one blink and she takes off. Now it's pre-looking to blow all any excess gas out and then there's the igniter is that sweet so you can do this yourself uh, if you have two of these furnaces you can check yours out this way and determine for sure if the control board is bad and mine is now i'm just going to go and there's some important information on here so you want to be sure you get the proper board. Okay, that one with that wonderful sound, I'm going to close out and thank you for watching and hope uh, your problem is this easy to fix.